Python is great. Simple syntax, huge ecosystem, tons of libraries. Everyone loves it. But there's a dark secret hidden beneath that beautiful indentation. And no, I'm not talking about the Jill. This is worse. This is structural. You know, Python is the Swiss army knife of programming. You can do machine learning, build web apps, automate your grandma's taxes, all with one language. And it reads like English. It's beautiful. But here's the catch. Python's simplicity is a trap. You can write something quick, you can write something clever, but you can't write something durable. Python is dynamically typed, which makes it great for prototyping, but terrible for maintaining large-scale code bases. When your project goes from 500 lines to 50,000 lines, suddenly the language that makes you fast now makes you blind, especially when you get errors that tell you nothing and makes it a pain in the ass. Dynamic typing is fine when you're the only person touching the code, but add three devs in six months and Python turns into a haunted house. Python pretends to be simple, but underneath you've got magic methods, meta classes, decorators, monkey patching, and context managers. You can do anything, but should you? If simplicity is the goal, why can I override addition with a dunder method and mutate types at runtime? Most people aren't using Python for Python. They're using it for the libraries. Python's strength isn't the language, it's the ecosystem. Which means the second you step outside of that ecosystem, like building high performance systems or doing real time processing, you're in pain. You either rewrite parts in C or accept that your code will run like a slug on melatonin. Python's biggest problem isn't technical, it's cultural. The community is so addicted to approachability, they treat anything complex like it's evil. Want type safety? Just use MyPy. Want concurrency? Just use asyncio harder. Meanwhile, real structural issues like packaging, deployment, the Jill are patched over with duct tape and wishful thinking. Python will continue to thrive for scripts, for teaching, for AI researchers who don't care what code is doing under the hood. But for large systems, for long-term maintenance, there's a reason big Python shops start reaching for Rust, Go, or even Java. So as a conclusion, Python is great until it isn't.